it's Danny Lou. How are you? Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I have been seeing all of the unboxings for um, the art boxes, art snacks, and as much as I like them, there is stuff in there that I just probably would never use. So what I decided to do instead was to pay a visit to the um, Rhode Island School of Design bookstore slash art store. I also live near a, a Blix, so I could also go there. So I did end up at lunchtime going over to the Rhode Island School of Design bookstore and I picked up some things and things that I needed, maybe a couple of things that I thought were fun to have. So I'm going to share those with you. So let's go down here and let's get the bag. Okay, so you get a nice bag. This is a new bag. They didn't have bags like this before. I am kind of surprised that um, they're still using plastic, but they are. So let's pull out what I have. I didn't get too much, but I got a few things. And I have my receipt here. Um, so with tax, I spent $28.40. So I think, though, that the um, boxes that you get, I think they're, I don't know, are they close to 30 I'm not sure. But at least here, I got things that I wanted. So the first thing I got was a watercolor pad that I needed. Um, the one I used during the summer, every day, not every day, but every weekend when I went to the beach, is filled. So I like that and I needed that. So the next thing I got was a grid ruler. I use these all the time and um, I actually should have left this at my office in my drawer because I had one at work, but I don't know where it is. Sometimes people borrow my things and they don't return them. The reason I like this is it is a see-through ruler. It says, Are Alternatives. It has graph lines. It's 2 by 12, so it's 12 inches long and 2 inches wide. And the reason I love it is it's see-through and it has um, grid lines on it. And it's, um, so they're divided into eighths, so actually they're 16 eighths, which equals two inches. And you can put this down, and I just use it a lot. I like those grids. I like the lines going across. It's easy to measure things. If you're um, scrapbooking, you can measure um, out the mats, so it's a good way to cut out mats. You put your picture down, and then you just measure all the way around. The next thing I got was a Copic Multiliner in the black. It's a .1, so it's really, really, really fine. Oh, let's see if I can get that. It's really, really, really fine, and I like Copic because they don't um, smudge if you get them wet. I also got myself a one inch round watercolor paintbrush and this is by Princeton and this I was intrigued to buy. I, I Toya, I Toya. I have not seen this brand before. These are mm, nib pens and they're not refillable. They're ready to go. So let's try them out. They're in black. Okay. You know, I like it. Yep, yeah, it's good. So that is a fountain pen. And you get two in the package. And I believe they're the same size. Oh, one's blue and one's black. Great. And I think that was it. So let's see. The pad was 540. The one inch round was $8.25. My ruler was $1.65. And the pens were $7.25. And the 
black Copic pen was $3.99. So these are all things that I am definitely going to be using. Well, thank you for joining me. Um, it's kind of dangerous sometimes to live so close to either, you know, the Rhode Island School of Design bookstore or um, a Blix. Blix is just a little bit further down the road. You take care. Thank you for joining me.